Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there is an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. Hello everyone and welcome to my Zone Online School. My name is Teacher Mutsa and thank you so much for joining me today. Our theme this week is my school and summer. And before we get into any lessons grade threes, it's very important for us to sanitize. So let us take our sanitizer. Remember, when we sanitize, we are showing the world that we are responsible boys and girls. Make sure that your hands are dry before you touch anything else. Well done. Our lesson for today is all about vocabulary words and the long sound OO. Our first exercise today, grade threes, please may you turn to page 17. On page 17, you can see that we have some new vocabulary words. Now remember, vocabulary words help us improve our English. So we need to learn as many as possible. The first word that we have today is swimming costume. Everybody, let's say swimming costume. Swimming costume. Very good. The next one that we have is brightly. Let's say brightly. Brightly. Very good. The next one that we have is rain. Rain. Let us say rain. Very good. The next one that we have is athletics athletics everybody let us say athletics athletics very good now the next one we already know it it is the word clouds clouds everyone let's say clouds clouds very good and the next one, or rather the last vocabulary word, is temperature. Temperature. Everyone, let us say temperature. Very good. Now, with every new word, we must know the meaning of these words so that we will be able to use them when we are making sentences and writing them. The first word is swimming costume. Now, a swimming costume is what we wear when we go swimming. Because we need special clothes for the water, we can't just wear anything. We need a swimming costume. Girls have a special type of swimming costume and boys have a special type of swimming costume as well. The next one is the word brightly. This word comes from the word bright. Now, when something is bright, we can see it clearly. So when something is brightly colored, 
we can clearly see what color it is. The next word is rain. Now we all know rain. It is what falls from the sky and it is in the form of little drops. Rain can sometimes be heavy or light. The next word is athletics. Now athletics is a group of events that are taken as a sport. Now you can have the 400 meter running race, that is part of athletics. Or you can have the high jump, that is also part of athletics. The next word is clouds. Now clouds are the white puffy things that we see in the sky. These are the clouds that carry rain and when they are dark we can say that they are grey clouds. The next one is the word temperature. Now this one is not a new word because since the pandemic started, we all know that we need to get our temperature checked. The temperature tells us whether we are feeling well or not. Let us take a look at the board for some of the sentences I have made with our new vocabulary words. The first one that I've made says, let me just get my ruler so we can do it together, says, the swimming costume is black. Now, I have given you a swimming costume. Remember, we wear swimming costumes when we are going swimming. So, we say the swimming costume is black, which means the color of the swimming costume is black. The next one is number two. I have a brightly colored bottle. Now you can definitely see that on my table today I have a brightly colored bottle. What color is this one? Yes, this is a green bottle but not just any green, it's a brightly colored green bottle. Let's move on to the next sentence. The next one says, it will rain today. Now, remember what we said rain was. It's the droplets that fall from the sky. So we are saying, it will rain today. The next sentence says, Adam is in the athletics team. Now, remember we said athletics is a sport that has many different events. Maybe Adam is a runner or maybe he's a jumper, but he is in the athletics team. The next one that we have says, look at the grey clouds. Now remember boys and girls, we said that the clouds are the puffy things up, up there in the sky. And when they turn grey or dark, we say grey clouds to show that they have changed color. Most of the time, our clouds are white. <laughs> now let's try another one. It says, they check your temperature at school. Now this one is very true, boys and girls. Before you get into the school gate, there is a teacher or a staff member with a machine that checks your temperature. You can either get your temperature checked on your neck, on your wrist, or on your forehead. But the best one would either be on your neck or on your wrist. So when you get to school, they check your temperature at school. I'd like you to try and use these words as the week goes on in any of the work that you are going to do, especially if you're going to make sentences. Let us turn back to our exercise to now see our sight words. Our sight words for this lesson is the word some, them, puts, every, around, and before. Remember, 
Sight words are words that we often bump into when we are reading and what we need sometimes when we are making sentences. So if you have some sight words that you would like to use in your sentences, make sure that you can first see them, then say them, and then use them in sentences. Let's list them again. We have, please repeat after me, some, them, puts, every, around, and before. So have fun, make sure you use your words as often as you can, and after a little bit of practice, we'll be right back after this advert break. Do you have children in the age range of five to six years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 81 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over seven different languages. Our next activity, boys and girls, please turn to page 18. On page 18, we are going to be talking about the long oo sound. Now, the oo sound is used to make words. And I'm going to show you what the oo sound looks like when we make it. Now, on the board, I have the oo sound. So let us look at the board. Now, the board shows us that when we have o oh and o, oh, it makes oo. So when the two o oh and o oh come together, they make oo. So words like oo, roof are created because of the oo sound. Another word that we are using these days is zoom. Z, u, m, zoom. Like the zoom meeting sometimes that your parents have. And in the booklet, we have other examples. So let us take a look at the booklet. Now it is your job to fill in the u sound. And after you put the oo sound in the words, I'd like you to read the words. Then you are going to use those same words to write the correct one in the sentence for it to be completed. For example, we are going to first fill in the ones that have pictures. The first one we already discussed on the board, it is r oo. So let us put the sound oo where we can see the roof. Well done. The next one is, let's sound it together. B, oo, t, boot. Let us put the oo sound for to us to complete the word. Well done. Now it is the next one. It says, let's sound it together. M, u, n, moon. So let us put the u sound where it belongs. And the rest you are going to do by yourself. So let us do number one together for the sentences. It says, let's read. The dash comes out at night. Let's read it again. The dash comes out at night. Let us put one of the words that we have already completed. Is it roof? Or boot? Or moon? It is the word moon. So if you manage to put the word moon before we figured it out together. Well done, you are doing well. 
Now I'm going to leave you to do the rest by yourselves. Remember, if there is a word you don't know, you're allowed to stop, sound that word and take your time. There are many, many options. Also remember that if you use one word for one sentence, you cannot use that word again. Take your time and we will be back after this short commercial break. Follow us on MyZone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. We have now come to the end of our lesson, boys and girls, and I hope you managed to use your new vocabulary words and your sight words and fill in that missing oo sound. Now that we are done, it is time for us to sanitize. Remember, sanitizing doesn't only happen once a day. You have to sanitize as often as you can. And you make sure that your hands are dry when you touch anything else after. Well done. I wonder, I have not seen Sashi today. Where is Sashi? Oh, there he is. Hello, Sashi. So, from Sashi and I, we would like to say thank you for joining us today and goodbye! Our online school will help you along the way. Find us at www.zoshi.online and download the booklet. Follow us on Facebook to never miss a video. Subscribe to our Zoshi Telegram channel if you want to receive daily updates. Proudly sponsored by Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF for Every Child, My Zone Online School and Amos Meerkat Syllabus.